economies of scale. This is a reinforcing feedback loop in the world where the more of a technology you produce, the cheaper it gets. And the cheaper it gets, the more you produce around and around. And it happens to be some of the best news when it comes to climate. The most important development perhaps in the last 20 years, particularly when it comes to wind and solar getting cheaper and getting produced more and more. Let's check it out here in En-ROADS. You can see some of the history, particularly for, for wind, no, excuse me, for solar. Check out the marginal cost of solar electricity from 1990 to 2018. The yellow line is simulated in En-ROADS. Cheaper, 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 cheaper. What is the result of it being so inexpensive? Look and see how much was produced. The primary energy demand for wind and solar, look at the yellow line, you can see the exponential growth in the 2010s of production of solar energy. So it produced, got cheaper, so it produced more, produced more, so it gets cheaper. That is the feedback loop. We capture this using system dynamics and systems thinking in a causal loop diagram. Check this out. Falling renewable prices boost production. You see the cost as it comes down, renewable production goes up. That leads to more cumulative experience, production, making, making them, field experience, public acceptance. Is it okay to have a solar panel on your roof or is it too weird? Research and development and make it the better and better technologies. Then the cumulative experience brings the cost down. It brings the cost down with the strength of the loop governed by what's called the progress ratio. It is the learning rate. And the way it's captured in En-ROADS and in just in general energy economics is that every doubling of cumulative installed capacity brings the price down some percentage. In En-ROADS, we chose the, the assumption from this study, Jungner et al. You can see it in the simulator of a progress ratio of 0.8. And that means a 20% drop with every doubling of cumulative capacity. That's the learning rate. Also in the simulator are the ability to subsidize the technology, bring the cost down a little bit to make this loop work faster. A good analogy for it, it's like a snowball rolling down the hill. The bigger it is, the faster it rolls, and faster, faster, growing, growing as a reinforcing process. Pushing the analogy another step, you could think of it as the subsidies, how hard you're pushing that snowball down the hill. And the learning rate is the steepness of the hill. That is how, again, how much cheaper it gets with every doubling of cumulative capacity. There are four different ways to look at this feedback loop in the simulator. Let's go check out where it shows up in En-ROADS. So instead of looking at 1990 to 2000, let's look at this cost for the long term. That is the marginal cost of electricity for all the sources from 2000 to 2100. That same steep curve, it's right there in green. See the green line for wind and solar? It is the reinforcing loop that is driving that drop in cost. And then over on the right, I'm gonna look at final energy consumption for renewables. And we can see in these years right here, the growth into the future as well uh, of production. So these are the two parts of that feedback loop. We can govern its strength a bit explicitly by changing the progress ratio in the model. Now imagine what's gonna happen if instead of a 20% drop, we get more of a drop. And by the way, the definition of all this is here. The sources are right there. What if we get more than a 20% drop? What if we get a 22% drop. That would mean this is one minus 22 or 0.78. What do you imagine that orange, that green line is going to do? What do you think the growth of renewables on the top right is going to do? So it drops a little steeper. It drops a little steeper and renewable energy, final energy consumption grows a little bit faster if we have a different assumption for that progress ratio. Of course, we can also push the strength of that loop by subsidizing renewables, which makes it grow even more. All right.
Economies of scale, a powerful reinforcing loop. The more you produce, the cheaper it gets. The more you produce, the cheaper it gets in this virtuous cycle that's driving the burning of coal, oil, and gas down, pushing emissions down and temperature down. Great news of a solution that's driving its own success. Hope this was helpful. Go get them.